legend of the Supra doesn't need any introduction. What started off as a sporty trim level available to a family car in 1978 quickly grew into a pop culture phenomenon. Winning over our hearts from Japanese graphic novels to even being featured in the Fast and Furious movie series. Ever since it was discontinued in the year 2002, it left a lot of enthusiasts wanting more until the year 2016 where Toyota unveiled the FT1 concept saying that this car is going to be the precursor to what is coming up next. But here we are in the year 2018 and Toyota has still not revealed the real deal. Instead, they have revealed another tuned version of the FT1 concept that they call the GR Supra. Developed by Toyota Gazoo Racing, the official motorsports arm of Toyota, the GR Supra concept is yet another promise that indeed the Supra is coming back. The design is similar to the FT1, but this is pure race car through and through. To shave off as much weight as possible, the door panels are made from carbon fiber and composite materials are used throughout the car, including the louvered hood and the front and rear bumper. More race car bits include side skirts, splitter, a boxy diffuser and a massive rear wing, all composite as well. The GR Supra racing concept rides on center locking BBS wheels. As expected, the cabin has been stripped out to the bare essentials. There is a full racing dashboard, OMP seat and quick release steering wheel, a safety harness, roll cage and fire extinguishers. The wheel is mounted on a racing column and there is a paddle shift setup for the transmission and the specification of which is still a mystery. More mysterious is the drivetrain powering the car. All Toyota is telling us for now that it's going to be a front engine setup. However, the rumor mill tells us that this could share drivetrains with the upcoming BMW Z4, namely the 2.0-litre inline turbo 4 and the 3.0-litre inline turbo 6, the latter producing 355 horsepower. But heck, for all we know, it could even be a hybrid. Now, as for the GR Supra, you will be able to race one in the virtual world of Gran Turismo Sport. But in the real world, the GR Supra will be making its racing debut, competing in tracks around the world, including the 24 hours of Le Mans under the Toyota Gazoo racing title. But for now, all we know is that maybe a production model might hit the market in 2019. And all we can do is hope and pray that it really does come to fruition. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, do let us know what you thought about the GR Supra in the comments section below. Don't forget, we have a lot more content coming away from the Geneva International Motor Show. I'm going to see you in a bit. Bye-bye.